All right. So over the weekend, um, yesterday, Sunday to be precise, um, Russia had their um, little victory day, holiday, whatever it was, um, and Putin spoke. Um, and so I just want to talk about what he said. One of the things that stood out to me, you know, he was saying, of course, you know, that talking about, you know, how we tried to get Nate, you basically we tried to get Ukraine to join NATO, and we basically have weapons right at his door. Um, now, I don't want to excuse what Putin does because he is he is bad. You know, he's former KJB for crying out loud. Um, he is he he's not a good guy. Neither is Zelensky in all of this. Um, yeah, Ukraine is run by Nazis. He's not wrong there. And you know, the left wants to support that. I thought you hated Nazis, but you know, they're ignorant and dumb and don't understand anything. Um, but he's Putin said. The United States of America, especially after the collapse of the Soviet Union, has humiliated not only the whole world, but also their satellite states. They have tried to denigrate the memory of the Second World War. And I would agree. Um, but I think this goes even beyond, even before the fall of the Soviet Union. Um, it was Eisenhower that warned us about the uh, military-industrial complex. They've been around a long time. Yes, they are a threat to us and other nations. I mean, he was basically also calling us terrorists. And, of course, Lindsey Graham came out and, you know, was calling Russia terror a terrorist state, and they need to be considered a terrorist state. And I've said this before. Our, our government is the real terrorists. They're the real terrorists. Um, all these wars that we've started, all the shit the CIA has done... Uh, trying to overthrow governments, and we, we support these uh, these groups that are fighting their governments, and these groups, you know, turn on us, and, and they become terrorists. I mean, Al-Qaeda was started by our government. ISIS, the Taliban, basically. I mean, our government's been behind this stuff, and it doesn't matter if they have an R or a D next to their name. Lindsey Graham is an idiot. He's a rhino, a neocon. Um, a warmonger, you know, and I don't trust the guy. Never have. And if I were you, all of you, I wouldn't trust him either. Um, and yeah, so who knows, you know, how, where all this is going to go. I mean, we're on the brink of World War III right now, which I don't think we're going to be destroyed in a nuclear war or anything like that. That is not how this ends. But, it is kind of scary a little bit. And then you see what's been going on here with the anti with the whole protest over Roe versus Wade being overturned, possibly. Um, who's stirring up violence against the uh, pro-abortion, pro, I should say, pro-life crowd? And it's the Democrat Party. And you got Antifa doing it, and they're basically the military wing of the Democrat Party, just like the KKK was. Um, and, you know, they're the ones storing up crowds, getting them to commit violence against pro-lifers, like I said, and getting them to intimidate Supreme Court justices. That's terroristic. So, and the media is helping along because they're a whole part of it. And, yeah, so, I don't know. This stuff is pretty insane, what's going on in the world, but, hey, just know this. God is with us, he will watch over us, he will protect us, and he will destroy the wicked. It's gonna happen. You're going to see it. People are going to get exactly what they deserve. All right. I will talk to all, all of you later. Uh, I will be doing a second video. Uh, so, if you like what you hear, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I will talk to you later.